Hey guys, kind of a different video today, but with what just happened to Kobe, I thought it was an appropriate time to share. I've had this video for a while, and I've kept it because it was one of those moments in my life that I'll never forget, or at least I hope I never forget. It was an average Sunday. I was listening to the Eagles game. I remember they were playing the Colts, and I was super stressed because I bet on the Eagles, and it wasn't looking promising. You gotta understand, my stress level is through the roof, and though I can't be vocal about it because customer service is a top priority, my inner voice is having a conniption. 13, 13 the score. 27 seconds to go in the third quarter. Let's back. Let's look at it again. Let's have the ball back to the lane. No! No! Let's go. Let's come up with it. Are you kidding me? Protect the football. What is wrong with you? How hard is it to protect the football? Every time, man! Every time! What are you gonna learn? I remember falling into that mindset of like, why can't I ever catch a break? This was supposed to be a sure thing. How can one man always be so unlucky? And I was getting pretty frustrated, I'm not gonna lie. And then this happened. Alright, sir, you have a great day. Is it the hospital? This is the address you put in. Uh, do you know how far the hospital is? Sorry, my, my friend is dying, so I don't even know what I put him in. I'm oh, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm sorry to hear that. Yeah. Uh, What's the name of the hospital? Area of Frankfurt. Area Health Fast Care? He ran this one. The target. And as soon as Ebron Area put his hands out to catch the 10, football, Sidney Jones put his oh hands in oh and way the off, right? outstanding play by Sidney Jones. No, it it not that far. Nope. I'll have you there in two minutes. I'm really sorry. No, no worries at all. I'm sorry you're going through that. I don't even know what I was doing. Hey, uh, look, it was right down. You just put the eight in the wrong spot. Uh, Looks like it's right here. Okay. Cool. Um, uh, do you know? I don't know where that have to go. Yes, anywhere, but I'm really sorry. No, don't be sorry at all. There's a. You want me to drive you to emergency? Or? Any entrance, I'm going to find and see where I have to go. Here's the main entrance, that'll okay. probably be best. It's a shame that it takes a tragedy to remind us how precious life is. I don't really know how well it translates in this video, but you gotta understand, as I'm driving, the only cues I get from people is from their voice. I don't see their body language or hand gestures, and I remember hearing genuine pain and fear coming from hey, the back seat. Man. Sorry going through that. Thank you. Take care. And I felt ridiculous, ashamed even, that I was sitting there pouting on the inside over a couple bucks that I might lose over a football game. I'm not going to pretend I don't get stressed out over little things like this anymore. It's human nature to forget about things the further away you get from it. I'm sure if you're watching this video even a few weeks from now, you're going to have a whole lot less of that life is so fragile mentality you had the day the Kobe tragedy happened. And that's good. You can't live in fear. I'm just saying... It's important to keep a perspective on what really matters. Don't sweat the small stuff kind of thing. And at the end of the day, 99% of the stuff we worry about is pretty small in the big scheme of things. A wise man once told me, whenever you get stressed, try to remember what you were worried about a year ago. More often than not, you won't be able to. I mean, you think Kobe's family or this guy in my backseat, you think they can name what they were worried about the day before their tragedies occurred? Thanks for watching, guys. I hope this video doesn't get you down, but I figured this was something that really put things into perspective for me, and so maybe it could do that for someone else. If not, stay tuned. Make sure you give it a thumbs up if you did enjoy it, and uh, subscribe for more, and uh, have a good one, guys. Driver Ed, over and out.